All right, all right, all right, all right. Quick thoughts, quick thoughts, quick thoughts, quick thoughts. Week 13, quick thoughts uh, for the uh, Ravens game. Ravens, Cowboys, Ravens beat the Cowboys 34-17. to 17. Um, And a very interesting game. I mean, of course, uh, given the Washington football team, Pittsburgh Steelers game, you know, you know, it's an any given week type of a thing. But uh, one of those uh, convincing wins that I talked about, I, I finally was right for once. Uh, <laughs> this should have been a little, little, little suspect for me uh, on, on some of the predictions and whatnot. But um, convincing win against the Cowboys, which is what you would expect from the Ravens, from last year's number one seed, this year's currently, what, number nine? seed hopefully number seven six ish seed by the end of the season uh but definitely definitely a good one started off a little slow lamar was back which is good dez got pulled out of the game like 10 minutes before the game i it probably wasn't that right on but it was it was pretty quick he was frustrated i don't believe the i quit the season i think that's just frustration um because he was watching the game uh into the game it felt like uh, once things really got going, <clears throat> um, but for me, I mean, it's a good win, but it's still like, how do I say this? It's still not the peak yet, you know. Like it's still not. It's a good win. It's a convincing win. It should have been even more because LJ Ford got that pick. Uh, the play before they scored, well, not the play before they scored, but a couple plays before they scored, LJ Ford got that pick. So it probably, I mean, it should have been even an even bigger win, but even still, you know, there was still some some things I felt like missing. I think you know Lamar, of course, missed on some throws, which, I mean, I've said it before. I think he's under the the biggest NFL microscope they can find. Any throw he misses is going to be analyzed, over analyzed, and then analyzed again. Uh, but I mean, he made some some really good throws too. The throw to Boykin. Um, I'm not gonna say it was right on, but it was. I mean, it it was it was good enough for Boykin to catch his balance and, and keep going. And it was high for a guy who's six four, uh, so it's probably the best place to put it. He threw a couple low tonight, and I think they blame some of that on him throwing his sidearm. But I mean, I've always said you can't throw a pick if the ball's on the ground. <laughs> so so I mean, I'm I'm way more of a fan of an accurate throw going low than an accurate throw going high because. And after your throw is going high, that, I mean, they, they pick seven, eight, nine times out of ten. If, if, if they throw it high and it's tipped up in the air, you know, it's going it's going to get picked off. So if you throw it low, I've never been a, a huge, you know, I've never had an issue with, with that. But one of the lower throws he made that probably could have been a touchdown, Boykin had, had found, him, found his way open, which was something that we've talked about wanting to see Hollywood, all these receivers, Boykin, Dez, of course, out this game, but, just in general, especially the, more so the fast receivers, though, Duvernay, uh, Hollywood, those two especially because they're the fastest receivers on the field. Been wanting to see them in the scramble drill, in the in the Lamar's out of the pocket, in the in these broken plays to get open, find a way to get open, like the Tyreek Hills of the world, like the um, Travis Kelsey's of the world, McCole Harmon, all all the Chiefs receivers pretty much. They they, they do a pretty doggone good job of getting open. Um, they feel like they wide open every time, but this was one of those plays that I saw some progression from from Baltimore because Boykin didn't stop. He he kept trying to find a little a little divot in the zone wherever he could find it in the back of the end zone, and Lamar just missed the throw. But I mean, on the bright side, he was open. Um, there was some still some plays where they weren't open. Uh, but I mean, passing wise, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good night. Lamar had like what 107, I think it was, which sounds like. Oh, a good night, but I don't think he threw the ball, but like maybe 15 times, something like that. Um, running the ball, once again, the bread and butter. Excellent. Excellent is the best way to describe the rushing attack tonight. Excellent. J.K. looked good. Even Mark looked good when he came in from, from time to time. Gus looked good. J.K. and Gus looked look amazing tonight. I mean, J.K. looks <laughs> – yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's ironic he wears that 27 because he looks he, – he runs just like Ray Rice did. Cause, and he's, he's, tiny, he's short. Not He's not tiny. He, he does – you know, he's stocky but small. You know, he's small. He can kind of fit in those little creases. Um, J.K. looks good. He looks explosive. 
good to see him back coming back uh you know from the from the from the list and then um you know having having mark back mark i mean i thought mark looked, looked pretty good it's one of, i think this is one of his better games really uh i mean uh, albeit dallas is a poor run defense poor defense overall but poor run defense especially uh and, and i think it was good to see the ravens capitalize on that because they don't they ain't done that a lot this year the chiefs can't defend the run either but they didn't run the ball against them so same thing here like it, it, you know, it's there. If it's there, take it. Um, you know, and this is one of those games I talked about it a little bit too, where I want to see, I want to see the Ravens. I I, I just want I want to see them get the mainstream media. You can't run the ball. You can't win running the football. Get that out of your head. You're 26 and seven at this point running the football like you run the football. Nobody's built to to contain you running the football like that and then if you set that up with the play action get these receivers open run some crossers run some little pocket throw you know those little pocket routes that's not the official term for them but that's what i call them you get in the little pockets of the zone you know what i'm saying you know the little hitches and stuff like that where they kind of just sit and wait for a little more to find them like those are those those are the plays you know i don't i don't mind i'm i like i i agree yes i want the offense to mature and grow up but at the same time there's a lot of nuances in this offense that make a lot of sense and that, that are almost in a way indefensible in this NFL that we see right now because every team defensively is set up to stop passing offenses. Nobody is set up to stop J.K. Dobbins running right at you, Gus Edwards running right at you, Mark Ingram running right at you, Lamar Jackson using his speed and getting outside on you. No team is is built to stop that physicality, and that's why the Titans have been so su- successful you know, more so this year because they're they're committed to it. And I think the Ravens got to do the same thing. Quit listening to the national media say you can't win football games. You can't do this. You can't win the playoff, blah, 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 without, you know, running the ball like that. No, don't listen to that. Don't, don't listen to that because the, the games you have lost have been because <laughs> you've stepped away from that. You've stepped away from that bread and butter that, that makes you great. Um, Real quick, you know, because, of course, the Browns game is coming up. You know, of course, predictions will come up, preview will come up for that. Uh, probably probably end up tomorrow on, on uh, Wednesday, depending on whenever you're watching. This. But, uh, I mean, overall, offensively, I thought it was a pretty good game. They, One thing I loved, they finished. They finished. Um, we talked about that in the last, the one, the game against, uh, was it the Steelers? Or was it? I think it was the Titans. I don't think I think the Steelers was more of an outlier. The Titans game, where they just weren't finishing drives. The Patriots game, where they just weren't finishing drives. This game, this game, at worst, and Justin Tucker somehow missed a <laughs> what was it a forty some yard field goal or something, which was you know out of the blue. I mean, he makes everything else, so you can't be too mad at him. But they they finished drive, even if that was at least let's get a field goal because. Eventually, those field goal drives will turn into touchdown drives, but you can't. I think they punted the ball one time tonight, um, and there was like a holding call or something. We thought it was we thought it was running into roughing the kicker, so we thought we were gonna get something on that one. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, they punted the football one time tonight, which is huge. Is huge. They're finishing the drives now, like not not quite, not. <laughs> Shout out to the to the trolls. Oh, Eddie, gotta got love him. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep that up. I'm gonna keep that up. But uh, but they finished drives tonight, man. They finished drives two nights. Um, they got they punted one time when they needed to take the field goal. They did. I mean, of course, there was a couple of missed missed plays, but the touchdowns I thought looked good. The throw to Boykin was pretty good. I don't know it wasn't excellent or whatever, but it was good. It was good enough. To, to, to go for a touchdown. And then the throw to Lamar was absolutely ridiculous, but on, on both accounts, the throw across his body to the back corner of the end zone, outside the numbers where he can't throw anyway, uh, you know, you know, that whole, that whole chestnut. Um, that was, that was a great throw and great catch from, from Hollywood. Hollywood did a good job catching that, catching that one. Um, I, I want to see definitely more from that. I wish I could see, I, I wish I would have saw the route. I didn't get a chance to see what the route was. It was just a straight go, a slug go or something like that. Uh, but I, I'm, I have to go back and look at that route and see what exactly that route was. But I mean, offensively, it was a good game. I don't think it's like 
I don't, I still don't think it's the peak. I think there's still some things to work on. Like, like we said before, there was some missed throws in the red zone that you would love to have. Uh, but I mean, you can't, you can't cry. I can't cry too much about 34 points, uh, just in general against anybody. So, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I'll take it defensively with a little suspect. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Defensively, um, <laughs> ironically enough, after last week playing so well, uh, the defense was, I can't, I can't, I can't really describe it too much, uh, but I'm gonna have to because I, because I'm sitting in front of this camera right now. Defensively, it was kind of like last week in a way. Like the openings were due to kind of playing back too far, you know. Uh, on the on the, they were killing the comeback back routes and the and the little hitches, and then the out routes. That was that was the main thing I saw. There was nothing tr- truly nothing that went deep. That, that that was a killer, but except for that one that probably should have been pass interference or holding or something, and it didn't get called. But but I, I take it. But other than that, I mean, the defense. I mean, they they played well. They just didn't play up to their. They they, they didn't. I don't think they really played up to their standard. Uh, you know, they 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 just they 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 didn't. They got the they got the interception, which was nice. A little tip pick. Uh, I can't, who was it? Who, who caught that? I think. I think I know Brandon Williams got a hand on. I think it was LJ Ford, if I'm not mistaken. No, 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 no. It was it was Patrick Queen because he got his first pick of, pick of the season. That's right, Patrick Queen. He got his first pick of the season. That's right. So shout out to him, uh, potential defensive rookie of the year. I don't know yet, but potential potential defensive rookie of the year. But uh, I mean, d- definitely. I, I mean, I say the defense played played relatively well. Like like we talked about it before. Andy Dalton knows the Ravens. Better than a lot of other quarterbacks do. He's played us time and time again, and he ain't he ain't afraid to to take some chances against the Ravens. And and we've seen him succeed on those to to one Tyler Boyd and AJ Green at times over the years. So I mean, I, I'm 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 satisfied, but at the same time, it's it's still a little bit more to go. And and I'm gonna make one more point, and I'm gonna get out of here. Um, because good, like I said, good rushing night over. I think it was over 300 yards rushing tonight. So I mean, with Lamar having 100 yards, that's a 400 yard. That's accounting for 400 yards uh, of total offense. I'm cool with that. You know, I'm I'm cool with that. Get it done. How you got to get it done? Get it done in the way you you get it done. I'm cool with that. Um, but still, at the same time, you know, I, I still want to see some more creativity in the passing game. I still, you know, I still do. I still want to see some creativity with the with getting the receivers open, you know, getting Hollywood the ball quick and letting him, you know, make, make some people miss because he's that fast, you know, let that happen. Some of those little out routes that Dallas was throwing, I want to see a couple of them to Hollywood or a deep end or something, uh, you know, and let him kind of just make some make some moves after the catch and do something with it. But, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, and I probably sounds crazy. I know we ain't even in the playoffs at this point. But I would not be surprised if the Ravens made a run. I'm just going to put it on record so that way it can be held against me uh for the for the rest of the time but um like i said before they've been in every game uh fortunately they've lost those games that they have been in uh, the, the the bigger ones of course that they the bigger ones of course that they've been in um you know they, they've been in every one of them it, it, even the chiefs nobody says the chiefs but even the chiefs they were in that one too and i mean they just got to finish and tonight showed that next week going to be a test with the browns the browns look good against the titans uh, I mean, I think the Browns have been relatively consistent for the most part this year, so it's going to be a tough one. But um, I think that's going to be a defining game for the for the run to hopefully win out and continue on. I mean, if there's any, I mean, this is the type of adversity that you expect to get from a COVID season: some sort of outbreak, some sort of uh, you know, some sort of COVID-related problem. Your quarterback missing for a game, the whole team missing for <laughs> for practically a game, having other players have to miss two games, like that. That's I mean that's stuff to rally around. You know, we talk about what can teams rally around for for the Ravens, the unfortunate whole COVID situation and the injuries and all of that. Playing you know playing for your guys, I think that's going to be. I think that could that could uh that could that could spark a run. It may sound crazy. It may sound crazy, but of course they can win out. I, I I believe they can win out. Of course, next week against the Browns, being the toughest one, I think they can win out. But I mean, in the playoffs, you just got to beat the teams that, unfortunately, you lost to <laughs> throughout the year. And I mean, I think if if they go on a run, I think they're gonna have to beat Steelers. 
the Titans and the Chiefs. Uh, I mean, of course, the Bills could be in there at some point, you know, the, maybe the Raiders or something like that, maybe the Colts. But I think it's going to have to be the Bills. I, I, I mean, I think it's gonna, going to be the Titans, the Steelers, and the Chiefs, not necessarily in that order. And, I mean, all you got to do is get in the dance. I talk about that all the time. Uh, with, of course, Eddie, who's a, who's a Giants fan, hopefully he'll be on the, uh, be on the show with, with his trolling, of course. But uh, hopefully he'll be on the show. Um, this week to talk about the Giants a little bit, give us a little insight on, you know, from a Giants fan's perspective. But I mean, what we talked about it before, you got to do is get in the dance. When she get, especially in, in this season, you know, this season they want to put an asterisk on the title and all this. I, bro, I don't care. I, 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 I could care less. A title still a title, whether you want to put something beside it or you or you don't. Uh, everybody got to go through the same stuff. So at the end of the day, put an asterisk beside it if you want to. But I, I, I don't really believe in the asterisk title type thing. Like, like everybody got to deal. With, everybody got to deal with something. Most of the time is injuries. This year is the virus. I mean, at the end of the day, got to do what you got to do. So I mean, if they somehow pull it off, uh, you know, not to say that it would be a miracle or something, but if they somehow pull it off through all this adversity, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna take it. You know, I'm, I'm gonna take it and run with it. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to if y'all see when the type fight. But, <laughs> but nonetheless, um. Good win from from Baltimore tonight. It's definitely excited to see uh, the Browns game on Monday Night Football. So not not quite a week, but but close to it. A little less than a week away. Should be fun. Should be an interesting game. Of course, I'll be back um, for the the post game on that. Might even have Adam on the on the little little, the little quick post game thoughts. Uh, and and we'll definitely. We'll see what's we'll, we'll, we'll see definitely what the what the Ravens are made of next week because they ain't they ain't won against a, a relatively good team in a good bit so to beat the Browns I, I would I would be very content and I think they can they just got to finish like I said before but nonetheless hope you guys definitely enjoyed this little quit off type deal um, picks coming up very very soon couldn't tell you when probably when not one like Wednesday because you know NFL week thirteen week thirteen week fourteen starts Thursday so. Um, I mean, it's definitely like a, almost like a short week for, for all of us at this point, but nonetheless, definitely hope you guys enjoyed until next time. Definitely hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on whatever the next video may be.